I don't want to hear all why men always have to pay because women are the prize. I'm not going half. I'm not tipping. I'm not all my turn. I'm not your girlfriend, okay? McDonald's don't suffice for me no more. I'm grown. I'm grown. I'm grown. I'm grown. Wow. What you fellas just saw was typical. Uh, not out of place at all, especially the first world. The basic Western hyena escaped from the Serengeti, clapping its plastic fingernails, making demands it doesn't qualify for. This chick is, man, reminding us she's grown. Growl. So, fellas, any volunteers? man should always make a way. I feel like I'm not going to work my hands to the to the bones to provide. I'm not going to work 16 to 20 hours a day or a week to provide for my family. You're the man. You have the business. Go get a job. Get three jobs. My man has two jobs. Go get seven jobs and two side hustles to buy me the things that I want because I'm a woman. Did you guys hear the unmitigated audacity of this chick this nasally weave queen demanding that the guy in her life the idiot who would take her seriously needs to cough up enough time and effort to work seven jobs and two side hustles news flash douchebag no no sweet cheeks you don't get to wear a head full of some other woman's hair plastic it into your fingernails and expect to be taken care of hand and foot by a man who's have to be killing himself not because you want to make the family better or you want to have provisions in case of a emergency a zombie apocalypse or whatever the case may be you want to make sure that everything in the family is squared no you want him to damn near kill himself to buy you the things you want and for what that overpriced marked down 10 times to put back on the rack fish taco you're sitting on <sighs> man you must be out your fucking mind Bro, I cannot make this shit up. It's a sassy man apocalypse. I'm out last night, and this man comes up to me, and he's trying to talk to me, and he goes, buy me a drink, and I'll buy you a drink. What? Who the fuck are you talking to? You gotta love that sign language, fellas. Calling it a sassy man apocalypse? No, sweetheart. Men are looking for reciprocity. They're tired of being taking for free drinks, free meals, free whatever, and get nothing back in return. And the thing is, if this man was attractive, in her opinion, it wouldn't have been no TikTok. We, you know, we know how it goes. If he was seen by her as attractive enough, it'd have been charming. It'd have been, oh, he's, oh, he was a man that night. He came to me and told me to buy him a drink. <laughs> it was so cute. But because she wasn't attracted to him, it was a problem. How much you want to bet if Morris Chestnut walked over there with his shirt open and said, hey, girl, buy me a drink. She wouldn't have just bought him a drink. She would have cleared her whole pocketbook out to try to buy him the whole bottle. And gave up the box that night. Now, y'all wouldn't believe what this girl told me. She was just like, nah, you got to step it up for me. You got to apply pressure. I know your last man. <laughs> he was driving your car. I put two and two together. I don't got to apply none. Now, this young scholar understands the game. Gentlemen, take this brother's advice. If you know the female you're kicking it with has dealt with low quality guys in the past, you had better not do anything more than they did or you'll regret it. It's like, take my number, take my number. And I was like, okay, dude, I'm like, well, I can take your number, whatever. I'm in a rush, gotta go. Give him my number immediately, maybe within 10 minutes, sells me a thousand dollars. She's like, I just want you to know that I'm a real man, not a boy. And I was like, don't be this guy, fellas. Do not lead with your wallet because that is the only thing she's going to want you for. She showed very low interest. I'm in a hurry. Whatever. Give me a number. Fine. You don't want this kind of woman, fam. You don't want her because, again, she showed low to medium interest from the very beginning. And she's, first of all, female nature. If you're going to give her free money, free attention, she's going to take it. But what do you get in return? Just another bill you got to pay. I could offer my whole self, no secrets and all, loyalty, faithfulness, everything that could make him happy. You ever hear a Western woman talking about how she's going to make her man happy? Nope. 
You know what we hear from the West? What a man can do to make me happy. What a man can bring to the table for me. What I can benefit. How I can spend his money. Passport boys, we are- Those delightful words came out of the mouth of a woman who was raised from the time she was a little girl to be a wife to a man one day. A vast difference from what you hear in the West with these women who were raised to be carousel riders. Don't take my word for it. Compare and contrast for yourself. Roll the clip. If men just do what we say, it won't be a problem. <laughs> well, women aren't attracted to men that do what they say. Yes, they are. Really? Yes. Yeah. You want a man who's going to be submissive to you? Damn. Yeah. Submissive and manly at the same time. There you go with that bullshit. Right now, yeah. $20,000. Hey, bro, come on now, dog. Well, a month. Okay. That's what I'm She saying. needs to provide you with $20,000 a month. Not necessarily. I'm saying, like, say I get into a marriage, I get into a relationship. He yeah. wants me to stop dancing. Yeah. He wants me to not entertain other guys completely yeah. loyal, yeah. sexually exclusive to him okay. only. Yeah. I I will never accept, like, a card. I don't want access to your bank account. I want an allowance so I can have my own sh Okay. Because so, and that allowance is 20000 a month. Quarter million. If you a would year. like to do more, I would be fine. With okay, that. so bare minimum twenty. <laughs> God damn it! You can't make this shit up. We've reached a place in this fallen society where a pole swinging booty clapper demands twenty thousand dollars a month as an allowance to get off the pole and be the kind of woman her great grandmother was every day of her life with little to no effort. She's saying that she needs access to a quarter of a million dollars a year to even behave like a decent, reasonable, wifeable woman. Gentlemen, you already know. Your options are as follows. Keep dating here in the West. And if you do, you deserve exactly what you get. Option two, go your own way. Tap out from this cesspool called the Western dating market. Go your own way and forge your own path. And options three and four lumped together are SYSBM or Save Yourself Black Man and the Passport Bros. Gentlemen, if you have the means, take one of these. And you get your hands on one of these. And you get across that water and you make a difference in your own life by inviting a woman who is prepared to be there. Prepared to offer you something for your efforts trained from birth to be there for you in a capacity you cannot relate to considering where you came from that said fellas that's my time like the video comment down below share with a friend and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already never let your brother suffer in silence from the truth can set him free networkers be working till next time